What up, dude bros? I'm Frank. This is a video review of the AccuStrike AccuTrooper. The AccuTrooper is a reskin of the Alpha Trooper, which is a spring-powered, pump-action, slam-fire-enabled, magazine-fed blaster. Just like the other recent reskins that Hasbro's released, this is pretty much just a direct reskin with fancy paint with a few minor tweaks. So let's get into the review. Please note this blaster arrived to me in the primed position, so the spring was compressed. Included is the blaster, stock, 25 round drum, 25 AccuStrike darts, and the instructions. The AccuTrooper is just a reskin of the Alpha Trooper, so mechanically it works pretty much the exact same way, but an external overview starting out with the front. To an awesome update, this is an in-strike muzzle attachment point, so you can put on your barrel extensions, unlike the previous Alpha Troopers. The old Alpha Troopers had just a flat muzzle, so you could not attach any extensions. I guess Hasbro figured this barrel is long enough, so if you need to achieve sniper status with this blaster, you can totally add super long barrels. It's not going to help your performance, but you can if you want to. Options, bro. Behind the muzzle is the priming handle. This is a pump-action blaster. To prime, you do that. Prime weight is pretty light and the pump action is pretty smooth, just like the existing Alpha Troopers. The priming grip has a nice ridge in the back so you can run your hand directly into it instead of putting force onto the side like a C-clamp to grip into the grip. To grip into the grip to the grip. Ah. I just mean you can prime by pushing straight back without gripping at all, which is nice, ergonomic, nice and comfortable. No spring return on the pump handle, so you just push forward. Now you're ready to fire once. And that's single fire. The Acu Trooper does have slam fire, so you're able to pull down the trigger. And after you prime and return the slide, right when it hits the forward position, it automatically fires, so you can blast off super fast, rate of fire. But overall, solid, smooth, ergonomic priming mechanism, just like the original Alpha Trooper. Moving back up on the top, we have an access door. When you prime the blaster, you're able to use your finger and push that back, and that allows you to get your finger in there to clear out any jams or malfunctions. I did not have any jams or malfunctions through my testing procedure. Behind that is the top tactical rail, so you can mount a scope or optic or whatever, but none is included with this package. Now to the magazine well. To remove the magazine, you prime, then press the magazine release, and it will release. This is just a display magazine to hold the blaster still, but it came with a 25 round uh, symmetrical drum magazine. I fed about 150 rounds through this drum without any jams or malfunctions, so it's a solid design. Just like the recent Stratohawk 25 round drum, it feeds just as smoothly, unlike the old Rhino Fire 25 round drums, the old one. So high capacity, it feeds well, and it has a symmetrical look instead of the off-balanced one from like the Raider 35 round drum. But the magazine is just a magazine. Back to the blaster. The magazine release is on both sides for right or left-handed shooters, or those who like to just go ambi for fun. <laughs> So the magwell is pretty much the same as the old Alpha Trooper magwell. To the grip, this is what I would consider the classic elite grip. I find it comfortable. If you like how most elite blasters hold in your hand, I'm sure it'll fit your hand just fine. But it's smooth and ergonomic. It fits my adult size hand, but it would be friendly to a child's hand as well. And down below, we have a sling or a lanyard mount up to the trigger. The trigger release or the trigger pull is pretty standard. This blaster does have slam fire, so you're able to hold down the trigger and pump off much faster. You sacrifice accuracy a little bit in slam fire mode because the blaster's kind of wobbling around as you're priming and shooting at the same time, but the rate of fire is definitely enhanced. Now back to the stock. Now the core blaster has an in-strike stock attachment point, so if you don't like the included stock, you can put on whatever you want. But the included stock is a new design, which I think looks pretty cool. Now it attaches to any in-strike stock attachment point, so if you want to put it on another blaster, you totally can. But it seems to be modeled after the original Lightning Storm stock, which is actually a water gun that a lot of modders really dug because it was simple and very rigid. And Worker has actually sold a ton of stocks that's very similar to the Lightning Storm stock and also very similar to this one, just smoother. Other than the cool styling elements, the stock also has a sling attachment point in the rear here. The length of the stock is is comfortable for somebody my size. If you like the Lightning Storm stock or the Stockade stock or the somewhat lengthier stocks that I tend to gravitate towards, this one will be right up your alley. But unfortunately, while I think this stock looks super cool and I think it matches the blaster very well, this design element up in the top here makes it kind of uncomfortable to use. There's a flat little bit up in the top here where your cheek wants to rest while you're looking down the sights or just using the blaster. And it's not chamfered like almost every other Nerf stock ever, so you really have this little line of plastic digging into your cheek as you're looking down the sights, so I think it's a little uncomfortable to use. And that kind of surprised me because it looks like they're going after the bare bones, super simple, very functional type of stock like the Lightning Storm stock and like the uh, Worker Lightning Storm stock ripoff. But that little element sitting in your cheek in that uncomfortable way almost destroys the whole purpose of the stock. So maybe it'll be comfortable for you. I don't really like how this one feels. But that's enough of me complaining about the stock. That concludes the external overview. Let's see it perform. Starting with AccuStrike darts. Same fire. Now to blue nerf elite darts.
operating the AccuTrooper is almost identical to the original Alpha Trooper. It shoots very much in the same way, mechanically speaking. But the performance is a little underwhelming. Now to be clear, I did not have any jams and malfunctions, so I believe it's mechanically and ergonomically sound. It works smoothly, it chambered darts well, it feels nice in the hands, but the firing performance is a little underwhelming. But if you noticed during my unboxing segment, Walmart shipped me the blaster primed. That's a terrible thing to do because when you compress the spring and you leave the spring compressed, you can weaken it over time. I really don't know if Hasbro shipped Walmart the AccuTrooper blaster primed like right out of the, the factory, right after it was built, or if somebody at Walmart like primed it in, in the warehouse, I have no idea. So I certainly hope my performance results are not on par with the AccuTrooper, but I have to share them because I'm a reviewer. So to measure that, I put the AccuTrooper up on my chronograph and first tested with AccuStrike darts and achieved an average velocity of 59 feet per second. Then I tested with Nerf Elite darts to more fairly compare to other blasters and achieved an average velocity of 61 feet per second, which is a good bit below that 70 FPS par that we can expect out of most elite blasters on the market right now. So it is shooting soft. However, I want to restate, I'm not sure if that's because this blaster has been primed for a little while. So if you order one yourself, maybe yours won't arrive primed because that's just a stupid way to ship a blaster. So maybe your blaster will be shooting around 70 FPS. I'm not sure. I'm accurately reporting my experience with this particular unit, but I'm not sure if all of the AccuTroopers will be like that. So ergonomic and mechanically sound function, but it was not shooting very hard. So that is all of the objective information I can provide on the AccuStrike AccuTrooper now to my personal opinion on the blaster. Overall, I'm pretty satisfied with the re-release of this blaster. In my eyes, the AccuTrooper or Alpha Trooper is really just a staple of our hobby. It's a pump action, you know, smooth, small spring power blaster. I prefer it over the Retaliator or that top prime form. If I have to use a Springer, of course, I prefer flywheels, but I would prefer this over a Retaliator or the Recon Mark II or anything like that. So I'm glad it's on the market, but it seems to be another rushed reskin, just like the Stratohawk blaster, which was the reskin of the Rapid Strike. Even these black paint lines on this shell seem a little rushed, a little sloppy, and they left the embedded Alpha Trooper C S12 in the blaster right here. They didn't paint the text, but it's still there and you can read it. They didn't flatten it out like a few other reskins they've done in the past. That's a pretty minor gripe in the sloppy paint line's not too big a deal. I really appreciate that they, they went ahead and added the in-strike attachment lug up here. They didn't really have to do that and that is a mechanical rework. That's more challenging than just painting a blaster a different color. So I dig that. I'm not sure how practical it would be to put different barrels on top of this, but maybe the, the new chrono barrel or something practical up there because it's already a pretty long barrel that will be disrupting your dart. But just like tack rails, it's not in the way if you don't want it, so it's a great option just in case you want to add something cool looking on the front of your blaster. To the stock, I appreciate what they're trying to do. I like the simplicity, how solid it is, but this little ridge on the, the, the cheek right here is just uncomfortable, and I really don't think I'd be personally using this stock. When I have my stockade stock, all my worker stocks, I have different stocks that I already like, and all of those feature a chamfered side, which is just flattened out like a fillet but flat. This just seems like a strange call. It seems like maybe a CAD designer built this without actually like shouldering it ever, and they just printed it, and they said, okay, let's, let's ship it right now without testing. <laughs> oh no, I got it. Maybe all the, the prototype testers over at Hasbro are just like no scoping all day, shooting from the hip like, like total bosses. Maybe they don't even need the stock to rest. I don't know. So it's better than just a generic reskin because it's another option that is a, a mechanical redesign from other stocks on the market, but it's not a stock I'll personally be using. So I'm glad another option's out on the market. With the performance of this blaster, if all of them shoot so slowly, it would be hard to recommend this one unless you're a modder and you know you're gonna strip out the internals anyways. But hopefully the guys at Walmart don't ship every blaster primed. That's just, that's just terrible. I don't know if Hasbro shipped them to Walmart's warehouse. I don't know how all of that works, but they should not be shipped prime. That's just a terrible thing to do. So perhaps the performance of all of the other AccuTroopers out there, maybe I just have a lemon and all of those are, they shoot fine at 70 FPS. Don't know, I just have to report my experience with this one. Bit of a scrambled personal opinion, but hopefully I've laid out all the information and showed you enough B-roll for you to make that purchase decision for yourself. If you're interested in purchasing an AccuTrooper, I'll put a buy link in the description box below. That concludes this video review, but before I sign off, just a little heads up, my, my upload schedule is getting a little random right now. I have some personal crap going on that's preventing me from uploading at the same regularity. So I apologize for my my sporadic uploads, but some stuff is going on that's uh, drawing my attention and I have to focus on that in my personal life right now. Um, so that's gonna continue for a little while. So try to bear with me as I get all of that settled, but I'm trying to maintain at least one upload a week. I probably will not maintain two for a while. It was previously Tuesday, Saturday. Now I'm just shooting for at least every Saturday, but I'm doing what I can. Perhaps some more details on that after everything is settled and I figure it all out. But that concludes my review of the Trooper. Thanks so much for watching, bros. And as always, stay tactical.